Hey, Bobo Buddies, thanks for watching. Guess what time it is? It is time for a bread and butter Bolo video. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a decent profit. Um, most of my uh, bread and butter items are items that I sold for around $25 or less that are easier to find that you can pick up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, stuff like that. So I definitely love my bread and butter. Now, do we all wish we had big money bolos all the time? Sure, but they're not as easy to find, let's face it. And especially right now when we're not sourcing, I'm pulling most of my items from my money pile. I've had some bolos, but I've had a lot of $25 and less items. So we are gonna get started. I'm gonna share some bread and butter with you guys. Thanks for being here. Be sure to check out my big money bolo videos and my featured seller videos, my category videos. I've got thrift with me videos. I've got lots of content, so go check it out after this video, of course. All right, let's get started. Okay, screen share. The first item I sold is this vintage cheetah, and I sold this for $25 on best offer, and it's a vintage golf club cover, and I picked this up at a garage sale. I can't remember. It was like probably a dollar or less, but it's plush. And I did a little Instagram video on this. So you guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely do that at bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. I do little video clips here and there, like right before I ship it, I'll be like, hey, check out this bolo. I paid this, blah, 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 whatever. You know, just to give you guys a quick little clip of what sold. And it's usually just one item and like 30 seconds long. The next item is this mug. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me tell you the story behind this. It's awful. It is awful. It's not that awful, but it's awful. So I sold this mug for $18. I picked it up at a thrift store. I think it's in one of my thrift with me videos, actually. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't much. A couple bucks, two, maybe $1.99. I don't know. It's in one of my videos. But uh it's a Old Spice and it's a mug. And the person that bought it was like so excited because a family, I can't remember if it was grandpa or dad, they used the same mug. So they were very happy to find it. So I went to, it said tote A. So I went to tote A and I looked through tote A and it wasn't there. And I looked through tote A again and again. And then I looked through every tote of inventory that I have and I could not find this mug. And then I'm like, well, it's got to be in tote A. So I looked through tote A again and again. <laughs> and then I'm like, it's got to be here. Like, I know I haven't sold it. It's got to be here. So I looked through every tote again. You guys, I looked for hours for this thing. Number one, I felt super bad because I knew it had like sentimental value to this person. And number two, I didn't want a defect on my account. So the story gets better. Okay. So I canceled the order and I messaged the person and I'm so like, I'm so sorry. Like I'm going to keep looking for it. So I canceled the order later that night. I go to look for a plush and I pick up this bag of plush and I'm like, that feels heavy. And it was some plush that I had listed not long ago. And I listed it the same day as the mugs. And I was supposed to take the plush out of the bag to put it where it goes. And instead I just left it in the bag and guess what was hidden in the bottom of the bag? You got it, this mug, which I canceled the order like a few hours before. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I called eBay and they said they would take the defect off my account if the person ended up buying it again. I messaged the buyer, they bought it again. All Everything worked out, but it comes to find out that um, I think that they're doing like a little special thing with for sellers right now that they're not putting defects on your account for things like late shipments and not being able to ship an item because um, of everything being everybody being on lockdown and the you know all the circumstances that are going on right now with life. So I wouldn't have gotten a defect anyway, but the person would have been very disappointed. So I messaged them. This turned into a really long story, but it was just like, I looked and looked and looked and then it just showed up. I'm glad it showed up. Anyway, the next item, 
this express love choker necklace. So I've had this on Poshmark for, I don't know how long it was one of those items. Like I'm just going to put it on Poshmark. I'm not going to waste my time on eBay. I listed, I cross posted it to eBay and it sold within 24 hours. I took a best offer of $10 and I probably have less than a dollar in it. These again are bread and butter items, you guys. This is a vintage perfume that I picked up at my thrift store. It was a bulk buy of all of these vintage perfumes. It ended up being less than a dollar each. I sold this for a full asking price of $26.40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these pillowcases. I say these because I had this set and this set and I thought these were gonna be a big money bolo, but you know, they do have like, some yellowing on them. I sold both pair to the same person. They offered me $34 for both. They paid the shipping and I was like, see you later. I think I had less than a buck in each one. So definitely still made money, but not the bolo that I thought it was going to be. This vintage Barbie doll. She's not a super old one. I'm guessing, I can't remember if I, maybe from the nineties, maybe the eighties, um, but she's not super old. It, Let's see. I can't read it. Maybe the 70s. Hmm. I feel like it was one that I played with, like back in my day. So maybe it's older than I thought. Uh, but I took a, I'm sorry, she sold for full asking price of $12.32 and the buyer paid the shipping. I pick Barbies up all the time in bulk at garage sales and then I'm starting to flip them like this. This King Caesar Godzilla, I picked it up at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy, so I probably have less than a dollar in it. It sold for $17.60, and the buyer paid shipping. This Disney pen, again, was a, I bought a big lot of Disney pens at a garage sale, so less than a buck, probably more like a quarter in this, and I sold it for $9 best offer buyer paid shipping, and I have a bunch of Disney pens. I do price my Disney pens kind of high, because um, some of them go high and I'm never really sure how to price them. So I just kind of base it on how long I've had it listed and I can always accept an offer. This Boyd's Bear, I like listing Boyd's Bears. They're definitely bread and butter. This one sold for $19.36. I got it for about a buck. I usually pay a dollar for my Boyd's Bears. I don't spend, I don't pay up for them because they are a long tail item, but I do enjoy selling them because I think they're super cute. Anyway, the next item I sold is this Laverne and Shirley coloring book. Again, I thought it was going to be a bigger bolo, but I picked this up at a bulk buy garage sale. Um, so basically I bulked together a bunch of stuff bundled and bought it all for one price. So probably have about a dollar in this. I sold it for 15 plus shipping. These little cake toppers, I think that I got these free at a garage sale. I was buying some other items and I think they threw these in. I sold these for $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. This peach, okay, so I sold this peach for $22 and I took a best offer on this peach for $19. And it just so happens that I was at Donatella Bodolino auction or maybe it was auction for you, Tees. And they were talking about peaches. And I'm like, oh, I have some peaches in my store. So I dropped the link with, Donatella will let me drop a link here and there. They're pretty good about that, um, depending on the situation. In this situation, it was kind of a joke. Um, I really didn't expect anybody to buy the peaches. But both peaches sold. Um, yeah. And I don't drop links very often to, to my eBay store. But the other night, Donna was like, everybody just drop a link to your eBay store, which was super cool of her. So nice. So everybody that was like buying a lot of resellers go to her auctions because she, um, she does a lot of uh, reseller boxes where people buy the stuff from her and then they resell it on eBay. So that was really nice of her to let people drop their eBay store links. She's just an awesome person. And so is T. They're, they're amazing. It was on Donatella's channel because I remember T was like, well, I'm going to drop my eBay link. <laughs> and so it was definitely Donna's channel that night. But yeah, so I kind of dropped the link as a joke and then people bought my peaches. So it's kind of funny. I sold two peaches. 
And I picked these up at a thrift store. They're actually in a thrift with me video that I did. I think I paid $2 each for them if I remember correctly. But yes, um, I'm not saying go drop your link to in her auctions because that clouds up the the feed, the chat when they're trying people are trying to bid on items. But again, sometimes she'll say, hey, everybody put your eBay store in. So that's a great way to get your links out there. All right, the next item, and if you guys are interested, I have links to auctions for you and Donatella Bodolino's auctions down in the description of the video. The next item is this Grease DVD. And I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. I do believe this was one of my bins purchases. And it was new and sealed. So at the bins, it's by weight. So I, I 50 cents, maybe, I don't know. I sold it for $13.20 with fast and free shipping. So I paid the shipping on that. The next item is this American Girl Samantha's World book. I got this at a garage sale. I paid like a buck for it. It sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I picked this up at a thrift store and it was a bunch of these bags. And I was like, oh, I hope this is complete. It wasn't. So I knew it was from the Heartland Great Grand Hotel. And if you guys can get the Heartland Grand Hotel, like the whole thing, oh my gosh, it sells for like hundreds of dollars. It's a major bolo. But this is just a replacement bag. And I sold this for $22. It's bag six. And the good news is, is that I had the instruction manual. So I knew what these went to, which really helped. So um, otherwise, I don't know how I would have figured it out. If anybody like knows Legos, and is there a way to figure out by the bag what it goes to? Um, let me know. Uh, again, I knew because of the instruction manual. But I sold this for $22, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this little vintage Barbie hat. And I probably should have put it on a Barbie because it looks kind of funny on my thumb. But it's still sold. It sold for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. This was in a bulk Barbie buy. So I have like pennies in it. The next item... I got from Donatella Bodolino's auction. It was a $25 box. Nobody bid against me. There was a, um, some vintage items in the box that I wanted to resell. She included like um, part of the lot was a mini bag of jewelry. This was one of the items. I'm like, these are too cute. I have to list them. They're little avocados. I listed every item in the box. I've done really, really well with that box. If you want to see what else I got in that box, I have an unboxing video, so you can go check that out. And I sold these for $13.20, and the buyer paid shipping. And again, the whole box was $25 with free shipping. So I probably had $0.10 cents in this. Uh, Pokemon Jesse figure, I sold this for $12, best offer. The buyer paid the shipping. This came from a bulk toy buy at a garage sale, so I probably have less than a dollar in her and she sold fast. The next item is this drop mix. So this item came from the Toys R Us going out of business sale. Oh, so I have been sitting on it for a while. Um, I paid $5 for it, so I did get it cheap. It sold for $30.80 and the buyer paid shipping, and I am so happy to see it go. All of my Toys R Us items, I just want them gone, gone, gone. Um, would I buy from a toy store going out of business again? I don't know because I've been sitting on a lot of inventory. Now I did hang on to items, you know, that I, I put on Mercari only and Poshmark, not Poshmark, um, Mercari, like I lauded them up and I wasn't going to put them on eBay. And then I ended up putting them on eBay um, I've got some really cute toys. I, I don't know why they're not selling. The only thing I can think of is everybody has those cute toys from Toys R Us going out of business. I've done really well with the pop sockets. Um, those are good. Those are good. If you see pop sockets, grab them. But they're, um, is it Pokemon? Mine are Pokemon. But I bought a ton and I paid about $1.50 for them and I'm selling them for $10 to $12 each. And I have probably sold about 50 of them. So that was a good, that was a good not all of it was bad and it'll all eventually sell eventually <sighs> all right you guys 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. What was your favorite bread and butter bolo video video item that I showed in this video? Thanks for watching. See you soon. Have a great night.